So Pikmin 3 has finally got a release date, and it will be coming August 4th. It has been delayed time and time again. Um, I don't think it's officially been delayed, but Nintendo has said it's, it's going to be in the launch window. It is way past the launch window, Nintendo with the Wii U. We still haven't seen it. I guess we're finally going to have it August 4th, which I'm extremely excited for. Man, I'm really, 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 really looking forward to this game. And of course, I'm going to enjoy it because now, just the fact that we got three captains now and the management with all that, it's going to be pretty insane and a ton of fun. And that game pad's going to be put to great use because we're gonna have to have that thing for our map we also got an actual proper virtual console coming to the wii u in the spring system update coming next week and so that's also going to make the wii u tons faster yay in terms of new arrivals with it earthbound is going to be coming to the wii u <laughs> How crazy is that? I mean, they have been trying since the launch of the Wii to get that onto the virtual console, and it's finally coming on the Wii U thing. So, Starman.net are probably having all of the gay sex they ever could want now. We also have Gaming Wario coming June 23rd, has been officially announced. So, Wario games are freaking awesome as well. A lot of good stuff to look forward to. Um, onto 3DS side now. Oh, wait, one more thing with the Wii U. They're getting a new Super Luigi U DLC for New Super Mario Brothers, and it's doing the summertime, which, eh, I like New Super Mario Brothers U, but, I don't know, kind of boring. We got, though, with the 3DS, Yoshi's Island coming, which Yoshi's Island, everyone knows, that's Bala. Uh, we got Mario Party coming to 3DS, which... The only reason I'll care about that is if they do online multiplayer. You don't do online, I'm not going to care. Mario Party has well been past its due date of being somewhat fun. Two new Japanese games coming over to, to the States. We got Bravely Default, Flying Fairy Wings. What the hell is that? Um, and then we also got Professor Lightens and the Azurin Legacy coming. That's good. Um, Professor Lighten games are great. I don't know what the heck that other one is. Sounds like, I don't know. Anyway, um... We got Shimagansi Tensei 4 coming to the 3DS, and it will be released on July 16th in the States. Um, a new Mario & Luigi RPG has been announced. It's Mario & Luigi Dream Team, and it will be coming t to the States on August 11th. And it's coming out earlier in Europe, and it will be hitting July 12th, which that's kind of weird. And that's the day after my birthday. And, of course, the biggest... Well, before we get to the biggest news of all... Uh, Mario and Donkey Kong Minis will be heading to the 3DS shop on May 9th. Uh, and an Animal Crossing 3DS XL bundle is coming to the States. And the game is going to be released in June 6th. And hopefully that bundle will be right when the game releases, which it should. I'm, well, A, I'm excited for the game a ton. Um, definitely going to be playing that until I die from old age um <laughs> the xl bundle i still have original 3ds and i don't have the xl i have the flaming red 3ds but i totally want to upgrade what better time to upgrade than this so you know i got the extra cash which yeah, doubt it but i would want this now the biggest news da 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 da, -da drum line <laughs> new zelda game which everyone already knew by this point <laughs> is getting released but it's huge news for me huge huge news for me i'm so excited because it's a sequel to a link to the past and a link to the past is definitely my favorite zelda game and probably one of the best games of all time for me um i'd say you know there's a Definitely in the f top five. Uh, I could battle for first place of that game. But, man, I couldn't be more excited. It, it's almost like if they just released a Final Fantasy VII sequel for the PS4. <laughs> or, actually, I would just want to remake that a sequel. Well, I don't know. Anyway, uh, enough about that. But, man, this is great. And just seeing that trailer, too. Like, one, they're bringing back the shoot you know, the projectile shooting out the sword. That's flipping awesome. Sort of definitely full 3D now, um, with the camera and the, of course, 3D aspect of 3DS as well. But so, you know, you can go into the walls like we saw, which the artwork of Link looks really, it totally doesn't fit the game. It's like some Egyptian, what I don't know. Uh, I, I like the mechanic. I just, I don't know about that art style with it. But the camera, see how it moves down like that. And so you could definitely just see whole new aspects of dungeon you're playing, whatever, than if you didn't 
that's a really great mechanic and also it's very big on vertical aspects of climbing up and going down as well i love the graphical style i love the way link looks um a lot of people are dissing that i love the way link looks that's the way he's supposed to look at that time it's perfect canon it looks great I love it. And no, I don't wish they went to sprites. I like the fact that they're using 3D models this time. The game looks beautiful. I, oh, I'm so excited for this game. One more thing, which isn't Nintendo related news at all, but Monster Hunter Online has just been announced. And you see the trailer here. And man, does it look good. Good, good, good. <laughs> they're using the uh, CryEngine 3 uh, to make this game. And man, does it look freaking nice is all get out of monster hunter game with cryengine 3 heck yes uh, and you can tell too the gameplay itself like it isn't those really awkward animations that you basically have to battle with yourself to get the mechanics of the game right <laughs> Because how Monster Game Hunter games used to be, you really that was sort of a playing mechanic of how to play off those animations to hit the combos correctly. And now it just looks a whole lot smoother, and you won't have to worry about that sort of gimmick anymore. People aren't saying they're doubtful, but come on, this is totally an MMO, and they've announced that it's going to be free to play. Which, come on, it's an MMO then. <laughs> and it's called Monster Hunter Online. Of course, it's an MMO. Anything that the title went online, it's an MMO. Um. It's no longer just going to be stuck with, like, four people. It's not going to be full open to a whole bunch. Game looks great. Mechanics look great. Monsters look great. I can't wait to play this. I, I'm sort of a fan of Monster Hunter. I mean, I played a few of them. Uh, three more specifically than any of the others. Um, I played one on the PSP as well. But I never was a huge fan of it because I just haven't really been given a great experience that this looks to be given to me. So... Hopefully it will, and I'll fall in love with the series. So, there's one more thing <laughs> I forgot. to Going back to the Legend of Zelda topic here with the 3DS. Um, it just hit me, but there technically was a sequel already to The Link to the Past. And that's called Link to the Past Ancient Stone Tablets. Look it up. You'll learn something today. Um, I'll see you guys later. I gotta go. Great news today. I'm happy to be a gamer. Bye.